Before I go, I just want to tell you, you were fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And you know what? So was I. What's going to say? There's something I have to tell you. Something important. What was it? No, hold on, hold on. No, hold on. Oh, I know. Merry Christmas. The doctors work together to take down the mighty Sycorax, dealing with the issue at hand much faster than the original episode. Tortured doesn't ready their weapon in time, and Harriet Jones remains in office. Returning to the TARDIS, the two Doctors discuss where they can go from here. They can't split, that wouldn't be fair. So they agree to stick together. You got everything. I've got everything, don't worry. You'll have to call Mo about that. Oh, never mind, Mo. Mo, Mo, Mo. I love you. I love you. Love you. Love you. further than we've ever gone before. The two Doctors and Rose then head off into the universe, but with Rose sticking much closer to Nine's side rather than Ten's. After all, he was who she wanted. We know that from when she asked him if he could change back, and it was just obvious. As the adventures of Series 1 all take place relatively normal, we eventually arrive in Pete's world. This is where we make our first real change. As Mickey leaves the TARDIS feeling like a third will and knowing the good he could do in the parallel world, the 10th Doctor also leaves the TARDIS team and stays in Pete's world with Mickey. 
Series 2 continues and the Ninth Doctor and Rose continue saving the day, travelling both past, future and present. Back in Pete's world, the Doctor and team take care of the Cybermen en masse. With the Doctor's advanced knowledge this time around, the Cybermen completely are taken care of, and the creatures never even attempt to enter another universe as they are quite literally all gone. As the Doctor takes Rose home to Mother Jackie, the Ninth Doctor never being as family orientated as Ten heads off in the TARDIS for a solo adventure, but being spotted by Torchwood, the TARDIS quickly arrives at the Institute. where Nine talks with Avon. Looking around the facility, he encounters the Void Ship. Continuing on round the facility, the Void Ship activates and opens, revealing the Cult of Scarrow. Location Earth! Life forms detected! Exterminate! 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 With the Ninth Doctor down in the chamber with the Daleks and Avon upstairs, she orders the tortured soldiers to use the alien tech and get the Doctor out of there. Reaching the room, the Ninth Doctor makes his exit, but knowing the Daleks will do anything and everything possible to open the Ark, he struggles to think of options to save the day. Understanding these Daleks are clever and more deadly than any other, he knows they need to be destroyed. With the Doctor knowing Tortured alone can't handle the battle, he contacts Harriet Jones, and Unit arrives at Tortured Tower. With Rose being summoned as part of an old Unit protocol, Rose and the Doctor watch as the battle for the ages throughout the Tortured Hub occurs. Battling both units and Tortured, the Cult of Scaro make their way up the building. Hoping to use the energy of the bridge to open the Ark, the Daleks do eventually reach the top floor and exterminate all units and Tortured troops. This includes Yvonne Hartman, because obviously she was there and Tortured, but not Harriet Jones, because she herself obviously didn't go to the battle, and she is Prime Minister after all. With the Doctor facing off against the Cult of Scarrow, he uses the screwdriver and opens the bridge. As it begins to pull through the Cult of Scarrow, the emergency temporal shift, but not before firing at the bridge mechanics, locking it at an open state. As the Doctor and Rose hang on for their lives, eventually Rose falls into the void dead. With the Ninth Doctor restruck beyond belief, he heads back to the TARDIS, where eventually he meets runaway bride, Donna Noble. Series 3 and 4 take place the same, just with Nine and Martha and Ten and Donna. This means Nine would meet Jack and so much more. As the events of Turn Left occur, the Tenth Doctor replaces Rose and eventually returns to the universe to warn the Ninth Doctor of the incoming reality disaster. As Nine and Donna meet the Shadow Proclamation, the invasion on Earth begins. I'm receiving a communication from the Earthbound ships. They have a message for the human race. Put it through. Let's hear it. Exterminate! 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 Sorry, we're dead. 
where the Docks are now on Earth, things take a different turn. With the Daleks finding Time Lord Origins, the Tenth Doctor is captured and taken on board the Crucible. Events now begin and the Daleks plan fast forwards. But as Davros prepares to detonate the reality bomb in front of the Tenth Doctor, the Daleks intercept a subwave network. Learning of the two Doctors, the Tenth Doctor tells Nine to get out of there, hoping that Davros won't trace the TARDIS and then stop them too. The TARDIS lands on Earth and out steps Nine, as he sees Mickey in the distance. Running towards him, the Ninth Doctor fails to see the Dalek and is exterminated. Now, normally with 9 dead, the bioregeneration would resync, but that's boring, so this time around we're going to instead continue. As Jack arrives, Donna, Mickey and Jack, you know, naturally run to the TARDIS, holding the Doctor's dead body. Jack, noticing no sign of regeneration, asks what's happening. Mickey explains to Jack that the bioregeneration occurred, and asks where Rose is. This is where Jack tells him that she was on the list of the dead from an attack in Canary Wharf. Donna is as upset as Jack is, but Jack kicks into gear and knows that they need the other Doxa. The Daleks take the TARDIS on board the Crucible and everyone except Nine steps out of the box. With the TARDIS being sent to the heart of the Crucible, Davros continues his plan. Final prophecy is in place. The Doctor and his children all gathered as witnesses. Supreme Dalek. The time has come. Now, detonate the reality bomb! Activate monitor alignment field. Reality detonation in 200 rolls! You can't, Davros! Just listen to me! Just stop! So, I guess this is another one which has a dreadful ending. Definitely the worst ending so far. With no meta crisis, no one can stop the Daleks. I'd assume Davros would keep the Doctor and his friends around, who would, you know, eventually take control of the Crucible, but nothing could be done. Maybe they would find a way to restore the universe, but with no TARDIS to help with that, I'd say it's near impossible. And remember, no escaping the Pete's world as every universe would have been destroyed. So there we have it. I'll keep doing your suggestions, so do keep them coming. Now, these what ifs won't be coming out on Saturdays anymore. They might do if I have a very special one planned, or that week decide let's do an extra what if. But for now, the what ifs will be kept to Tuesday only. But there still will be a video out every Saturday as well, so do keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.